Hi, this is Smita Dev and welcome to Get Curried. Today I'm going to show you a super unique recipe from Hyderabad, the Sofiani Biryani. I will also be telling you a short story about the invention of this recipe, but for that, keep watching the video till the end. So here I have kept about three and a half to four liters of water to boil along with three tablespoons of salt, some green chilies, some freshly chopped coriander and mint leaves. We're going to add 750 grams of soaked basmati rice. I soaked this rice for almost half an hour. We're going to cook this rice till it's 80% done. And now let's head on with the marination. I'm going to heat a tablespoon of oil. Once the oil is hot, I'm going to add two inches of ginger to this that I've roughly chopped, 12 cloves of garlic, 15 almonds, a small piece of nutmeg and one mace and about 15 green chilies. Now the green chilies you can add according to how spicy you want your biryani to be. These spices have got sauteed well. We're going to remove it in a mixer grinder, cool this and grind it to a smooth paste. Here I have a kilo of mutton. You can also use chicken for this recipe, but the flavor of the biryani comes with the mutton. To this mutton, we are going to add the roasted almond, ginger garlic, green chili, the nutmeg and the mace paste. The next that goes in is about 300 grams of yogurt, a tablespoon of garam masala powder, quarter cup of freshly chopped mint leaves, quarter cup of freshly chopped coriander leaves, salt to taste, two tablespoons of cream. And now I'm going to tell you a little secret. So what I have done is I've taken raw papaya paste and marinated the mutton for almost four to five hours before we applied the second marination so that it acts as a tenderizer and your meat cooks quickly. So now let's just mix all this together. And now let's rest this marination for at least half an hour. I prefer to marinate the meat for at least eight to 10 hours or overnight, but half an hour is good enough. Let me just keep this aside. The rice is almost done. It took about 10 minutes. Let's drain the water and keep the rice aside. Let's head on with the gravy. I'm going to heat two to three tablespoons of ghee in here. And once the ghee is hot, we're going to add some whole spices, two bay leaves, two star anise, one inch of cinnamon, three green cardamoms, five to six cloves, 10 peppercorns, and a teaspoon of shaha jeera. Now, once those seeds crackle, we're going to add three onions that I have sliced and we're going to saute these onions till they're nice and golden in color. The onions have caramelized beautifully. Let's add the marinated meat now. Let's saute the meat for at least three to four minutes on a medium to high flame. While we're sauteing this meat, I'm going to drizzle two tablespoons of oil on this.
And now we're going to cover this and cook it on a medium to low flame till the meat is done. I'd kept the mutton to cook for almost 45 minutes. And this is done. I can see the meat is off the bone. It also depends on the quality of meat you take. The cooking time varies for that as well. I'm going to simply put this meat in a handi. You can put it in the pot in which you're going to give the biryani a dum. I'm going to drizzle juice of half a lemon now. Sprinkle some freshly chopped coriander. Put a layer of rice that we've already cooked. Let's drizzle a tablespoon of oil. Half a cup of warm milk. Some fried onions. The reason to add milk is that without changing the color of the rice, we're going to make it nice and moist. Now I'm going to add the remaining gravy. Drizzle the lemon juice. Spread the remaining rice. Drizzle a tablespoon of oil. Half a cup of milk. Some freshly chopped coriander leaves. Fried onions. A tablespoon of rose water. And now we're going to cover it with a lid. Seal it with wheat dough. And now we're going to cook this on a dum on a low flame for at least half an hour. So let me tell you how this biryani got invented. So normally when you think of a Hyderabadi biryani, you think of a bright red color, you think of the saffron fragrance and the color, right? But this biryani is very unusual. It is white in color. It's because there was a Nizam from Hyderabad who loved biryanis, but he couldn't digest the spices. So he ordered his chef to come up with a recipe of a biryani using lesser spices. And so the chef came up with this unusual recipe, making it rich with cream, ghee, and the mutton itself, which is a very rich meat. So this is how the biryani came into being. And since this biryani is also low on spices, even children will enjoy it. So you must try this recipe for sure. It's been almost half an hour to 45 minutes that we had kept this biryani on a dhan. I'm just going to open this lid up. Wow, it's smelling divine. Just let's remove this in a serving platter. Let's garnish it with some freshly chopped coriander and some fried onions. And our Sufiani biryani is ready to be served. Do try this dish. Let me know and keep watching. Get curried. <laughs>